four in your corner, beginning with breaking developments in a case we've been following for a week now. The state attorney says local NFL star Nate Allen, quote, could not have been the offender in an indecent exposure case in which Fort Myers police detained him for hours. The state attorney going even further, saying the way that Fort Myers police identified Allen as a potential suspect is, quote, a suggestive method that, quote, leads to potential misidentification. Police stopped Allen, who's 27 years old, after a teenager reported seeing a man in his 40s or 50s doing something inappropriate in his car. Well, now police are saying they're still looking for that man. Fort Myers Police Chief Doug Baker now says he is personally conducting a review of how this case was handled. But as Four Near Corners Warren Wright explains, Nate Allen's attorney says it's too little too late for a hometown hero wrongly accused. Warren. Well, attorney Sawyer Smith says the FMPD has some explaining to do. He claims this book of statutes proves the police department violated his client's civil rights. Had Fort Myers the Police Department done what their obligation is and to investigate this offense, Mr. Allen would not have been illegally detained, taken to Fort Myers Police Department, had his career jeopardized. Attorney Sawyer Smith says he has proof that Nate Allen did not expose himself to a minor last Monday. He presented texts and Facebook postings, which he says prove Allen was in a different location. Allen was eating at the Fort Myers Red Lobster at the time of the alleged crime. Shortly after leaving the parking lot, police pulled him over. The 16-year-old girl, don't know what she looks like, was in the back of the cop car, and I was being told just to stand there. And I'm in cuffs at this time. I'm in cuffs. And I'm being told right on the side of Colonial, and I'm being told to stand there. Allen's attorney questions how police conducted this investigation. He points out that according to state law, indecent exposure, if not observed by a police officer, is a misdemeanor and a non-arrestable offense. Not only was Allen detained, he sat in a cell for four and a half hours, not knowing why. Is there any way that I might have to sleep here tonight? And they were like, well, um, you know, we're not sure. We don't know what's going to happen. It depends on whether or not you're charged tonight. And I'm like, charged? What is charged with what? What do you think was happening for all those hours that Mr. Allen was sitting in the Fort Myers Police Department? You know, you'd like to think that for that length of time that they were conducting an investigation, Warren. But I think what was going on is all the officers were sitting around staring at each other, wondering who had screwed up the worst. But did FMPD really make a mistake? Did they detain Allen because the case involved a minor? For the past 48 hours, I've reached out to the police department, asking for an explanation on their protocols and procedures for arresting and detaining suspects. Specifically, if someone is suspended of a second degree misdemeanor, should they be brought into custody? Also, is it common practice to do a police lineup of a suspected criminal on a public street? They didn't address my first question, but in a statement released late this afternoon, they justified the police lineup of Mr. Allen as standard protocol. But the state attorney's office takes issue with that protocol, saying, quote, the courts have found that the methods used by the FMPD is inherently suggestive and leads to potential misidentification. Had Fort Myers Police Department done their job, Mr. Allen and his family would not have been humiliated, and a man would not be loose in Fort Myers right now. Okay, well, later in our newscast, I'll have more on my interview with Nate Allen's mother and what she has to say about her son and what the rest of the family has had to endure from this investigation. Warren Wright, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Warren. This is just the beginning of our coverage of this developing story straight ahead at 630. As you heard, you're going to hear from Nate Allen's mom as she opens up about how police detained him for hours in a case in which prosecutors are now saying he, quote, could not have been the perpetrator. And at 645, we're sharing your views on how all of this played out in your community. And it's not too late for you to weigh in on this community conversation. Tell us what you think about how police have handled this, how Nate Allen has responded to this, what his lawyer has to say tonight, voice your view right now, 239-206-FOX4, or email us at news at Fox 4 now. And remember, we're bringing your real-time updates on a story that we are leading the coverage on on FoxForNow.com.